Joined by Sports Director Matt McCoy right now. And again, there's just so much this time of year going on. It's I almost feel like it'd be easy for the team to get caught up in the accolades. I mean, you know, coaches, coach of the year, Chase Young, a defensive player of the year. We're going to find out the offensive player tonight, right? Yes, that is correct. Um, and that's probably going to be Justin Fields. Okay. I, I would be stunned if it's not. Yeah. But it, it's not only so much the accolades. And uh, we talked about it yesterday with Ryan Day. Having to play Michigan and the emotion of beating Michigan. And it sounds silly, Joel, but uh, they beat Penn State, beat Michigan back-to-back. And now this is – they haven't won anything yet. <laughs> you got to win the Big Ten now. Well, they've, they've won a few games. So it sounds silly to say, <laughs> like, do they have more in the tank? Yeah. And and But Ryan Day talked about that. That uh, We talked about it before we started this stretch, that it's three hammers in a row. we got to be ready every week. So – He's not that worried about uh, any kind of an emotional letdown or uh, the tank reaching zero, but it is a real thing that uh, playing three teams like this three weeks in a row is a bit of a bear. Yeah, there's uh, no doubt about it. Joining us on the live line right now, Doug Worthington. Of course, uh, Doug, you got some. I've never had the pleasure, Doug, so I appreciate you being on the show this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. Most, most definitely. I appreciate to be on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, good word. If you were at Bucks line a couple of weeks uh, earlier in the season, uh, the mojo was great. I got to ask, though, uh, you know, you played for the Buccaneers, the Redskins, the Chargers, the Rams. Um, walk me through a little bit. You know, Coach Day spent some time in the bigs as well. Uh, he's down uh, coaching uh, collegiate level right now. Do you, right. When you watch the style of football on the field for the Buckeyes, do you get that sense like, yeah, it's, it's easy to see that Coach has spent some time in the pros? I um, mean, he knows the culture. He knows how to keep the guys lively while still can being competitive. Um, to have an atmosphere that Ohio State has with all the amenities when it comes down to facilities, uh, the best strength coach in the land, and um, it's just a factory. So uh, Coach Day uh, got the keys to a very powerful vehicle, and all he's doing is really, really just uh, working it and uh, just getting it to a pristine form. And they're just ready to go down to Indianapolis and kind of show the world who they are. And I'm excited about it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You know, Matt and I were just talking before you jumped on here. You know, a big game with Penn State, big game with the team up north, and now you got another big game as a player. Uh, how deep do you have to dig to kind of bring it three weeks in a row like that? Uh, well, let me tell you, first and foremost, uh, I never played on a team like the guys they have right now. The, the team that they have assembled, we have to give them credit. They are deep. They are strength in numbers, um, and they have guys rolling in, and they're excited. I mean, they, they, the offensive line been healthy all year. That right there just proves to me that what Mitch Mariotti is doing in that strength room is working. So this, these guys are a little bit different, man. They, me and the Buckeye Nation, we talk about it pretty heavily, about the talent that they have and the NFL career that some of these guys are possibly going to have. And they're going to they're gonna have an, another five tough games. So when it comes down to uh, the Penn State, the Michigan, um, obviously we know what happened and the, the way that we dominated those games. Wisconsin will be a little bit more of the same. Uh, we played them and we beat them 38-7 to in, in Week 9, um, held their running back to a, a, a low of 53 yards. Um, so we're primed to uh, have a big stance. Uh, I like it. I think I give him a shout out because I actually see a picture of him. I'm in the office. Uh, Devon Hamilton, what he's doing on that defensive line, and what guys like Chase Young is is, is proven. Um, they're a special bunch. And when you have talent like that uh, with the coaching staff that keeps the culture alive, that that, that lets those guys play and have fun, um, they're destined for some great thing. And I, I think Wisconsin is just a, a little bit of a stepping stone, and they're going to handle it pretty well. You know, it, Doug, it's interesting that you say that because it's not like you played on defensive lines when you were here that weren't loaded. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> you, you had NFL guys, Cam Hayward and stuff. You won, were on team that uh, won the Rose Bowl in, you know, 2010 and everything. But you seriously see something even different? Because you had a, a great team full of pros, too. But there's approach. something different about this team in your mind? I mean, I want to I give first shout-out to the late, great uh, Mike Kula. He was a phenomenal guy, a phenomenal leader. He was one of our captains when I first got here in the defensive line. Um, Quinn Pickcock, an NFL draftee who played a great year and got cut short for mental health issues. Um, we got Jay Richardson who played in the league. Uh, um, um, uh, D. Peep, D. Patterson, Vernon Goldston. Like you said, Cameron Hayward, Thaddeus Gibson. Um, Johnny Simon, who's playing well with the Patriots. Um, and I say yes. I say yes. I stop and say that to say this. Um, we, we're watching one of the most transcendent, one of the best defensive linemen who ever has played the game in college football in Chase Young. Uh, I've seen him on the offseason going to Maryland and working his tail off. I understand the grind that Coach Johnson put those guys through, and I'm going to deem him and coin him one of the best defensive players to ever play college football. We're not going to really appreciate who he is until he's gone. That's normally how it goes. 
So when it comes down to those guys being out there and being Wolves, um, when we played him last time, he got three sacks. He had four sacks when he played Wisconsin. And it was a rainy day. Mm-hmm. We are going in a dry Indianapolis turf where these guys are a little bit faster. When that, that bounce off that is a little bit more, I am, uh, I am, I'm, I can't wait to go to Indy and just get around those guys and just, you know, uh, enjoy the atmosphere as a defensive lineman, as a Buckeye. It is, uh, it is great in Columbus right now, and uh, it's fun to watch, man. These guys are the best, and uh, Coach Johnson is the best defensive line coach. I'm a, I'm a coach at Upper Arlington for my guys, and I'm inspired by what they do in the football field. So I'm excited what Saturday has to bring. I'm excited for the playoffs. I'm excited for this process, and I just think Buckeye Nation need to realize. And they're watching one of the best teams that they ever had assembled at Ohio State. Doug, uh, you know, in addition to, you know, what we've seen on the offensive side of the football with Justin Fields and J.K. Dobbins, you have, as you're talking about, uh, Chase Young and that defensive line. But it's interesting, Ohio State yesterday, and I don't know if you saw this, Joel, on social media, put out a tweet prompt, uh, promoting all three of those guys to be Heisman finalists, Justin Fields, J.K. Dobbins, and uh, Chase Young. Doug, I'm wondering, we haven't seen defensive players very often become finalists. I don't think anybody's under of those guys are going to win it. I think uh, Joe Burrow's kind of got that locked down. But do you think one, two, three of those guys uh, should be in New York as finalists? What What is your view on, and who is at the top of that list for you? Because all three of them seem to be deserving. Man, give credit what credit's due. I mean, Ohio State are putting out phenomenal athletes time and time and again. Uh, you look at the NFL and the way that we're uh, transcending that sport and the way that we're getting the biggest contracts in the running back and the wide receiver position, soon to be the deepest of back uh, position with Lattimore. Um, these guys are doing unbelievable, remarkable things. Um, so uh, to keep it going, um, having a guy that's going to be the number one pick, uh, having another Jeff Okuda, um, and just guys in the NFL, the Heisman wants that type of energy. They know what Ohio State is right now. Um, they're very, very aware of what's going on in Columbus, Ohio, uh, with Ryan Day, and it just makes the brand better. These are quality kids. They don't go out. They don't get a lot of trouble. I mean, you hear something here and there. I mean, I know Zeke had his troubles, but these guys there and, they, and they, they perform on the football field, and that's the brand that we're building. So when it comes down to having three guys in New York, I feel like if they don't have those guys in New York, it's going to be almost a shame on the committee because these guys have been producing week in and week out. Uh, J.K. Dobbins is just right under Archie Griffin, and if he played another year, he would be and in, in break Archie Griffin's record, and I don't think he is. Uh, Justin Fields coming from Georgia, having the numbers that he has, and they only play the first half of most games. I mean, the kids are phenomenal. And then again, you got the best player in the country in Chase Young. Um, so not having him in New York, even you take two games away from him, he's still leading the country in sacks. Um, he's phenomenal. It is fun. It is Buckeye Nation, and uh, you guys have the awesomest job talking about it every week. So I'm yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it. Uh, Doug, I, before I let you roll, because i got to get to traffic and weather here, but before I let you roll, are you a Red Bull guy? Are you a Coke guy? Coffee guy? What is it? You are intense He's high at energy man. in the morning, I am, I am, dude. I am, a, I am a liftoff guy, man. I, I do. Uh, I take Herbalife supplements, and I actually do liftoffs every morning. So Boom. I do herbal teas, and I do great protein shakes. So I, I, I do. I don't really drink coffee that much. Um, I do a little bit of things, a little bit more natural. Okay. It's something I can monetize it as well. Uh, but for me, honestly, um, I just love Ohio State football, don't you? I'm like, it's just easy. Yeah. The roof from Scarlet and Gray. Yep. I mean, Devon Hamilton is a guy that me and Chuck Gresham was working with in high school. I got another kid named Antonio Shell who plays for Penn State, who's a starter. Um, so me, as a coach now in a new role, seeing these guys fulfill their dreams, I'm excited more than anything. So uh, no I doubt. I can, def- I can definitely I can definitely hear it, dude. So have a great day. We appreciate the touch. Doug's the best. And wow, that yeah. is cool stuff. Doug Worthington, right here on News Radio 610 WTBS.